What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the most feared Terrell Suggs who was part of the whole promo of the most feared uh, elite cards. I'm going to let you know right now he's not the best user linebacker. Um, as far as a linebacker that you put on a D-line, fine. Just don't user him because I think he, what is he, only 6'3"? And um, height is a major factor and it's been a major factor in Madden for I guess the last four or five years realistically. Um, you know, when as far as usering goes, uh, well, I guess, well, let me see, four, maybe three, because in, in, in Madden 13, when the ball hawk came out, it didn't really matter. If you were two feet tall, the ball hawk was so ridiculous, you was jumping through the ceiling. But I think of maybe maybe um, 25 and on, you know, the user linebacker, the heights and things like that really mattered, depending on who you had, um, how they would jump. They kind of toned down the ball hawk, similar to the way that they toned down the aggressive catch uh, in Madden 17. So. As we look at it right now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know see exactly what's going on, and I'm gonna let you see exactly where it got me so livid, bro. Where Terrell Suggs just actually stood there and watched the guy, you know what I'm saying? Like he couldn't get up. Usually, um, Leonard Floyd is who I have, 6'6", or Anthony Barr. Uh, if it comes down to it, I may have to get a Julius Peppers back there. I think he's 6'7", but for the most part, I really rock with Leonard Floyd and Anthony Barr. All right, so as we look at it, I'm using Suggs only because he's in my lineup, and I don't feel like, you know, when I'm playing the computer, I don't really want to sub him out and do all that stuff as if I'm in a real game. You know, obviously, if I'm in a real game, I'll do my subs and things like that, but I'm like, it's the computer. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? That, that's like the mindset I have, so I'm not really worried about it, but boy, was I wrong. Look at this dude right here. Yo, bro, you see his little tiny-ass arm? Bro, what are you doing? And I'm just going to go back do a flashback. I, I bought this guy for how much? How much did he cost me? 101 k All right, good. Good stuff by you, Terrell Suggs. You're out of here, bro. You're getting raged so, so fast. You don't even understand. I'm not going to waste my time and put that guy on my D-line, even though I know that he is a beast on the D-line because, oh, pick. Run it for six. Just go ahead and run it for six. This one's over, guys. But, you know, talking about him as a user linebacker because guys have been asking me um, specific questions. You know, like, yo, GMI, um... You know, is this guy specifically good for this? Good, you know, specifically good for that? I'm gonna try to see as much as I can because obviously I can't answer every question. Right here, this is a most feared gold pack. I pretty much was getting the same right tackle out of all my packs. I don't know exactly why EA Sports hates me so much, but you know, hopefully they'll show me love one day. Uh, so yeah, as we go, what is, is that another, is that the same thing? Or did I just do that twice? Did I just do that twice? It don't really matter, I think I did it twice, bro. I, I don't know, maybe I did a double take, I don't know, bro. Whatever, so um, as what did he just break all those tackles who is that does does doug martin have a most feared card like what is that guy doing why is he yo this game is wild why did this guy just break mad tackles all right good stuff Jameis rapist winston he runs from one side and turns right into the blitz that was pretty ill right here i'm trying to really um you know learn how to get in there on blocking these field goals and stuff like that because for some reason dudes would be jumping all up in my stuff bro Whenever I'm, yo, whenever I'm going for a field goal, dudes be just jumping in, they mad tall, and be blocking my field goals. I'm just trying to figure it out as we do it right there. Um, Brandon Cooks burns them deep right there. Uh, but at the end of this video, oh, right there, not even at the end, right here. You see how he, you see how he picked that? That's a general pick that any middle linebacker or any user linebacker would make. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? This is a situation where it was thrown underneath. I'm talking about the entire field. So if he's throwing the ball deep, he's throwing the ball down the field, you need a guy with height. That's definitely something that you're gonna, you're gonna notice that more times than not, if you don't have height, the ball, he's gonna do that stupid animation where he reaches out with a, like he has like a midget arm or some of that. I don't mean to say, I think midget is the, um, the improper vernacular. Dwarf, like he has a dwarf hand, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, right, is that a dot? All right, bro, drop it then. All right, so that's what I'm saying. If you want a guy that's all around good, you're gonna have to go with a guy that's six five, you know, six five, six four. You may be able to get away with, but Brian Erlacher is six four, and he was actually missing a lot of the over the head throws also. So I would probably say six five to six six. So don't really pursue Terrell Suggs if you're gonna complete the set like I did to get Brian Erlacher. Go ahead and do that, but get, you know, what I'm saying. But if you're just getting Terrell Suggs to use him, don't do it for that. D line possibly he'll be solid, but as usering. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't go that route. So as we look at the rest of this right here, we're just bringing serious, serious heat because the D-line is so vicious right now. The D-line that I'm using in this video is so, so vicious. You know, Jadavian Clowney, you got Khalil Mack over there. It's just so much stuff going on. Computer don't know what's happening, bro. So um, that's why it looks like that. That's why it just looks like, wow, what the hell's going on? And uh, yeah, guys, the solos that I'm doing right here, definitely try to get them done, man. A lot of free packs, a lot of things that it's definitely going to be beneficial to you to, for you to get it for free instead of waiting around and just doing whatever. Um, so right here, this final one right here, what is this, Carolina Horrors? Yeah, because I guess Cam Newton is a horror show, bro. Do the straight butt cheeks. So we're going to go ahead and come out. Let's see what he, uh, bro, we got to throw a dot, though. 
we gotta throw it down. Okay, so they got they got Julio Jones one on one. So that's a no brainer. Don't ever don't ever put this dude one on one, man. That's just so stupid. That makes absolutely no sense if you think about it, bro. Dot him. All right, good, good, good. Okay, go go ahead, Scam Newton. Scam Newton, go ahead, throw it right there. Throw it. Come, oh, you gonna get sacked? All right, cool. So we just need one more play, and they got. Okay, go ahead, right there. Good job. Good, yeah, bro, that's pretty much how he's been playing in real life too. Yeah, punch him in the face too. Good stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much it right now. The Terrell Suggs. I, like I said, good for the D line, not so good for usering. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, you know, we got guys that come to the videos regularly that, that can help me answer questions that I don't get to. I appreciate you guys for what you're doing to help the community. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe. One love.